Okay. Hello, hello, my friends. Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Hello, Mike. Um, welcome to Unscheduled, Unfiltered, you know, same old, same old. Um, I was trying behind the scenes to set things up so I could go live on Facebook, like on my Facebook page at the same time. Didn't work. Whatever. I, I need more time to <laughs> plan these sorts of things. This was unplanned, but as promised in uh, my live on Sunday. On Sundays we go live, 2 p.m. Central. That's like the card making live and we chat and all the fun things. And we were discussing hauls. And I have not posted a haul video in years, I think it's been. I'm not even sure how long it's been. It's been a long time. I quit doing them for many reasons. Um, yeah, I just, I got tired of the drama and the headaches. And honestly, the number one reason is so often a lot of the things that I order, by the time they get to me up here in Canada, they are sold out. And me doing this as a job, it just creates even more chaos when I'm like, oh, look at this awesome, fabulous thing I just got. And then it sold out. And then I was getting like hate messages. It just chaos, you guys. But we're all adults here. We're all we're all mostly mature grown ups. <clears throat> I'm the petty one, but lots of requests to bring them back. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to start doing hauls again. Disclaimer specifically for this one, just big disclaimer, this is not one order. One, this is all stuff I purchased myself. I always, you know, specify that whether it was sent to me, you know, product sent to me or I purchased it. There's a difference. This was all purchased by me, not all at once. This is like multiple hauls. I just kind of gathered together stuff that I've had sitting here. Some of it's been sitting here for a long time. Some of it, a couple things I've literally had for, I think I ordered like last year, but I'm going to show to compare a couple things. So all those disclaimers, you know, I don't order this much stuff all at once. So yeah, it gets a little nuts. Yeah, Erica, it... It's few and far between, but sadly, like, the halls really used to trigger people. Like, I just, I had so much drama. Just, you know, the green-eyed monster popping out with some, and rather than just... Yeah, yeah. It, and I don't really personally care, but it's like, I don't need this headache. So I just quit doing that. I was like, I don't need to do this. I don't, you know, I just, I don't need the drama. But haul videos are fun. They're some of my favorites, and they're just... They're just fun. And I, I absolutely had to because I literally just got a little order, like not even an hour ago. And I pulled out a couple of the items and I was like, I need to do a haul on this because it just, yeah, I'll show you guys. So hooray. Welcome to you guys that got the notifications and are tuning in because again, this wasn't planned. Wasn't going to do this today. And then I was like, why not? Let's go live. Let's, let's show the things. So yeah, I got a pile of stuff. I am like, all over the place. I got links all over the place. Um, there's no uh, unpaid intern helping because he works as much as I do. <laughs> so he's doing his real job, not his unpaid intern just helping me out sort of a thing. So this is this is me just doing all the things and yeah we're gonna we're just gonna hop through and I'll show you guys some of the stuff I need to already like switch some things but let's let's okay Woo. I got like a literal it's a pile it doesn't even look like as much but I got a pile of stuff here super fun let me move I gotta move some stuff out of the, the way so yeah this is gonna be a little bit disorganized jank because I and I haven't done a haul video in forever forever and yeah I have had I've got yeah this is multiple orders multiple orders of of fun things so lots of it's all to new I have been just I've started working with Altenu, but I still purchase a lot of their stuff. And I got some, some, a little bit of Spellbinders, all Stampers Anonymous. I got some random, all sorts of random things. So let's just like move some of this off to the side. You're funny, Vicky. I love it. <laughs> You're funny. Okay. I got, um, this was released recently. I think this was last month. I'm not sure. I got this permanent mist gray little pigment ink pad. They call it pigment, 
but it's got a um felt you know when i saw it like when it was released or whatever i was like i was thinking like a smushy pigmenty you know a pigment ink but yeah i my plan the i think this is what it was invented for like was to do like no line type coloring and stuff so i was like yeah it says it's pigment based so it's interesting so yeah but yeah they're meant it's meant for like doing like no line sort of stuff so i thought i'm gonna try it out we'll see we'll see i don't do no line very often you know it just i i can do it it's just um yeah you, you need patience for no line and i'm like ha! no so i got that i or also while i was at it i got the little round ink stand i have some of the other sizes that brianne has made and they're like um sturdy they're not heavy they're like sturdy and they got little grippy feet on them and i thought ooh, the round one perfection for the fresh dye inks so i got one for now i might get like three more eventually so i have four so when i'm using like a four quad you know i can stick them because it keeps everything from moving the little grippy feet so why not so yeah and brianna is lovely she has sent me a few over the years and i've purchased several and they're just they're great they're great so i got one of those that just sits in there like so hello to stockholm okay <laughs> <laughs> this is what prompted me to do this little haul because these just showed up I ordered them and I was not like I just I threw them in my cart I like gouache you guys have seen me use and I didn't like this but my little uh white gouache that I use for splatter you know I have been using this for this is years 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 I've had this for years you know it's it's I still got like a ton of life left in this but I saw Altenew came out with a black and a white and I was like oh, I should order it you <laughs> look, look at this <laughs> uh I was just like what it what is this and I didn't even see that like it says on the website like 50 mil these this is this is 14 like this is gonna last me like the rest of my bloody life and then some i'm gonna have to put this in the will leave this to my grandchildren like <laughs> it's so big. i love it i love it but yeah so i got white and then they had black and i was like oh i wonder what this will be like for splatter i'm curious so for those that aren't familiar with gouache because I have had people ask, and I used to know, I was like, I don't understand what this stuff is. So you've got, let's, let's just move this over. So you've got watercolors, which, you know, most water, watercolors are transparent. They can come in tube form, they can come in pans, like they come in different forms, but watercolors are transparent. And then you've got like acrylic paint, you know, and acrylic paint, paint comes in, your, you know, bottles, etc. Watercolors, gen, rule of thumb is they're transparent. The different, if they're, they're cheaper watercolor and they have fillers, different things, less transparent. But generally, watercolors are transparent. Acrylic paint, very opaque, you know, just opaque, covers what it's on, etc. Gouache is basically in between the two. It's kind of like a little hybrid of watercolor and acrylic paint. And what I've been liking about gouache is that you can reactivate it. You know, watercolors, you can reactivate. Acrylic paint, when it's dry, it's permanent can't do nothing with it i don't really work with acrylic paint other than like splatter with it i don't like painting with it because it, again it's it's opaque and you can't reactivate it whereas gouache you can like i can put my gouache onto a little palette and it can completely dry and you can reactivate it with water love that so i've been using you know a little white gouache for um you know splatter things like that and i did get and this is one of the older purchases um again just to just to compare i had ordered this set the new york artist gouache from multi as well i haven't used it yet um but yeah you get like all these pretty colors they're beautiful and like these tubes are 15 mil 15 mil tubes like good size 
you know, you're going to get a lot, you know. So I got this again, like I said, like last year or something. It was a while ago and I've just, I haven't used it. I've just been like, I open it, I pet the colors in here. And so I was expecting these to be like the same size. They're not. <laughs> so yeah, that's, you will get a lifetime supply of white or black wash if you got these. Like, I'm not complaining. I was just, man. Yeah. Yeah. So very, very um, curious about these. So we'll just, we'll just see. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad, Jenny. I love it. Uh, so yeah, but these are very, I like the colors. I like the colors. I have an idea. I actually got this gouache not specifically for card making. Um, I want to start painting with gouache, like doing little like miniatures and things like that. I've like signed up for different classes, all these things. That is a whole separate, like I am not going to add that to my channel. I have no plans on like monetizing it or anything. Like this is something I'm hoping I can actually do as a hobby just for me. We'll see. Because I, I got this like a year ago. Have I, I haven't had time to do nothing. Nothing. However, I do have an idea to like make a card using gouache. But we'll see if I actually get to it. So for now, it's just very pretty. I like the box and the colors are very beautiful. And yeah, every time I pull it out, I'm like, oh, they're so beautiful. Like oh, that like minty green. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Anyway, so that's that one. And then these ridiculous, it's just ridiculous. I love it. I do love it. It's just nuts. So then on that same vein, I did also get um, this Artist Watercolor Brush Set. Th these came out a while ago. I'm not sure exactly when. And I've just, I was curious. And then I ordered them at whatever point. I wasn't expecting them to come in like their own, like, little little container little holder so yeah it it opens up and then you've got so it can like i don't know prop up i guess i don't know how it's supposed to go i don't know oh there we go there so yeah okay i get it now it took me a minute all right so it comes like this you go like this you know you open it up you flip it, flip it around, and then this pulls out, and you can tighten it. That's actually kind of cool. And then you can go like that, and then it can prop up. That's cool. I wasn't expecting that. That's actually really cool. So that's kind of nice, especially if you do travel with your stuff. But yeah, so this is the, what did I say it was? The Altenew, whatever there's a name for it. Watercolor, Artist Watercolor Brush Set. So there is a large, flat brush. Ones like this, generally, it's when you're doing, you know, you want to wet the whole surface. You know, that's what I would use this for. So just a good size. This is just like a general use. And then a size 0, 1, 3, 5. Yeah. you know, and then the size, they come to a nice point, and then there's size three, and size five, so yeah, just decent little brushes, and if you're not familiar with, um, a lot of times with brushes, when they are brand, brand new, there is usually product in them. It is a, I forget exactly what it is that they use, but it's, it's meant to hold the bristles. And I've talked about this in way old, it's been a long time because I don't buy new brushes very often. Um, it's just meant to hold the bristles in place, you know, while shipping, etc. So when you get brand new brushes, a lot of times if they, if they are, they're stiff and everything's stuck together, just flick them just like that get all this stuff out of it i don't recommend like wetting it to get it out it, that a lot of times works but it depends on what the the brand uses to you know hold everything i just find it's easier to do it dry because i don't want to like get more of that stuff in there if that makes sense you know so yeah yeah 
that's all. I got those. All, all fancy. I like the 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 little holder. I probably won't like use this holder that much because I just keep all my brushes like in a cup, just throw them in, move, move on about my day, you know. But this is nice. Like, yeah, it's schnozzy. It's fancy. And then while I'm on, like, all, like I said, a lot of this is all to new stuff that I've ordered over the last however long. I got more glitter. Glitter cardstock, because you can't go wrong with glitter cardstock ever. I like Altenews glitter cardstock a lot. I've used it in many videos, and it does not shed, and it die cuts beautifully. I just keep it in the packaging that it comes in. So I got the Milky Way glitter cardstock set, and it's just... Oh, look at that. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I should have got two packs of this. I'm going to end up getting more of this down the road so that I never run out. You get multiple sheets of every color. You get, I think it's like six or something. One or four. Is it four of each color? Yeah, you get four of each color. So yeah, moonstone, silver. I love platinum. Iridescent hematite. The camera does not do these justice. It's like, there's like rainbow sparkles in this. Hello. This one, this sapphire, it is like a deep blue. Ugh. And then the black is black diamond. It also has a bit of like, kind of rainbow sparkle in it. It's subtle, but it's pretty. It's pretty. I love it. Love it. So there's that one. And then this one is the fairy dust. It's also very beautiful. Huh, yep. Yeah. Perfect for spring. I've got all these colors. So we've got dazzling blue, shimmering pool, twinkling pink, sparkling peach, glowing green, and enchanting green. Whatever it. And yeah, like they don't, you know. Same as all their other glitter card stocks. And like I said, I've got all the other packs. I've been using them since Altenew started coming out with them a couple years ago. Whenever it was. I honestly don't even remember when they started doing these. And I love them. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Okay. So I got, I got all that. And then I got couple more one other thing this I think might be sold out right now I talked about this recently um this is the 9 by 12 ultra sticky mat grid so yeah it had come back in stock I ordered one I've been using the the standard size one in recent videos love it so I was like need to get me the 9 by 12 so fabulous yeah yeah, already know I'm going to like it because I already use, um, yeah, the other ones, which mine's a mess, but you know, so I got that and then I got these. This is just this little pack of Ranger angled brushes. It was like a pack of six. I'm not sure why they released them, but I thought because like they're, they're cheap and I was like, ooh, this will be perfect because it's just little for when I'm like heat embossing, you know, and you get little random flecks of embossing powder where you don't want it. And I was like, ooh, this would be like a good one to like get in there and remove those little, those little bits here and there. So that's literally why I got this. But I'm like, I'm sure the other ones will come in handy for things. But yeah, you can't go wrong with cheap little brushes. So I got those. And then while I'm just, I'm like, yeah. Like, I don't buy any brushes very often. This caught my eye. And this, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, this is just a Yasu, Yasutomo size 4 fusion brush. These are dirt cheap, which the second I, like, I could tell, like, these are cheap. But I was curious. This does come to quite a good point. You know? But yeah, it's, like, plastic. Like, whatever. But, yeah. Kind of impressed with the bristles on it, though. You know, 
And then we'll see if we go to there. Oh, Ricky's here. Hello, Ricky. There we go. Hello. So I got that. And then, could do you think I could resist? This is the Yasutomo Pale Gold. It's sealed. I gotta open it. It comes in a container. Did I need this? No. Did I need it? Do I need any of it? No. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's so fancy. It comes in its own little, like, dish. So, yeah. I, of course, got this for splatter. Splatter all the things. So, yeah. But it comes in a dish. It's like a little presentation. This <laughs> is... Yeah, it's a hefty little dude. So, yeah, can't go wrong with it. It's pretty. So I got lot just for more for more splatter. You know, you gotta you gotta have the stuff for the splatter. <laughs> uh, so I got that, and then of course I got neon lunar paste. I had so many of you. I had ordered this um when it came when it was released so that was a couple weeks ago or longer um and they got here recently ish because i have all the other colors of lunar paste and i was just like neon you can't go wrong with neon so yeah yeah the colors are super fun super fun so yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's the the neon lunar paste bundle, and I have zero idea what I'm gonna do with. Them. But I was like, they're so pretty, they're so pretty, gonna love it. They'll be good for pride cards. Hello. So yeah, got those, got those, and then. An oldie, this is an oldie but goodie, but I, I just, I don't know why I never ordered it when it was first released. This was, gosh, years ago. This is the Tiny Toadstools stamp set from Tim Holtz. Like, I had to get it. I had to. Like, look at it. Seriously. Seriously. There's even a little splatter stamp in there. You know? Because for those that don't like actual splatter or very um, hesitant about it, you know? That's what I used to do back in the day way back in the day in fact that was one of my most used stamps i had a little splatter stamp and it was a wood mounted one so really splatter has been in my blood since like the beginning <laughs> but yeah i got i got the tiny toadstools finally and then on that same vein i couldn't i was like i didn't get this either when this came out and this has been out for a long time this is the funky foliage um tim holtz die set and you know same thing. I was just like, why do I not already own this? Like, really? Why, why Why? do I not own this? You know? So, I had ordered this. Again, I'm not even sure when. I've had it sitting here for a while. So, yeah. Yeah. Got that. And then I also got... This was part of... Was it last month's release? I don't even remember. You, I can't keep track of things. Again, this has been sitting here. I think it might be sold out right now because obviously it's super popular. This is the MFT Wings and uh, Wishes stamp set. Like, it's so cute. It's so cute. I just... Like these little gnomes. Like... Ah! I love it. I love it. So I got that and I did get the coordinating die set mostly because I was like... These ones, I was like, oh, I have no problem like cutting these out. But then I was like, oh, all of the intricate, I was like, I'm not going to fussy cut this. I'm just not going to fussy cut it. So I couldn't resist. So yeah, had to get it. Had to get it. So I got that. And then I got a few better press things. I need to do more better press videos. So I ordered um, this one. This was the Essential Textures Rustic Burlap Press Plate from Altenew. I just, yeah, I just, the texture of it. Cause the thing I'm planting like more often than I can see myself using this more, not even with my better press system, but just running it through my die cut machine to press the, 
the texture, you know, into the cardstock, like without even using ink, you know? So yeah. Yeah. I see this one being very multi-purpose, like just for background. So I got that one. And then I couldn't resist. I got these two, these two. So this is the big one. This is the uh, peony background by the fabulous Yana Smakula because she just makes, she makes everything beautiful. But I kept hesitating on this and I was like, mm, but you know, it, cause it, yeah, it does all of like the negative area. That's what this does. So yeah. And I'm really a big fan of the press plates because you can hot foil with these. I've shown it in a video. You cannot use hot foil plates in your better press system. That doesn't work that way, but these will hot foil and they hot foil beautifully. Like beautifully. There's something about the press plates and just the way they work. I love it. So I got that one. And then I also got the mirrored arch blooms, which is like A2 sized. So it's got a sentiment too. And then because of like this and this shape, I got the mirrored arch label die set because that will coordinate with this. Plus it's just a nice I think one of my very first shape die sets was a Spellbinders one, like way, way back in the day. Like this is S5613. It was like the fourth, I think it was, I think a number four, I think it was like labels four or something like that, like almost 20 years ago. And yeah, you can't go wrong with a good label set. So I got that. And then last but certainly not least, um, I got these a while ago and I just thought I would actually show them in a haul video. Spellbinders is doing these craft stacks trays and I had ordered a couple sets when they first released them just kind of sight unseen and I've got the one set I've already opened up and so this is the combo set because there's a medium size there's a large size and then there's the combo that has the large and two mediums and let's just open this up so I can show you guys yeah. okay so that's the large and it's technically two trays. So a, a deeper one and a shallow one, but this works as a, a lid as well, you know? So, and they're just a good size. Um, they're just six and a half by Nine and a half is the large one, so six and a half by nine and a half. So that'll hold like a half sheet of cardstock, you know. It won't hold these general like they'll sit, but you couldn't close the lid. <laughs> you know, but you can put some things in here. You know, whatever. So that's the large size. I've been using the smaller ones, and you guys have seen it in some of the videos, because I use, like, when I'm die cutting and stuff, I've been throwing my die cuts into just, like, the shallow trays, or if I've got more stuff into these. And I just, I like how they stamp. You know? That's, that was, like, the big thing for me. I was like, oh, I like, I like that a lot. Like, again, there's something satisfying about, so I've kept the other pack that I have you know so I'm assuming oh yes so satisfying so I've got there that's two sets stacked up you know so I like it I like it this is just it's a good size yeah I use this more for whatever I'm randomly working on yeah and then my plan is when <laughs> when I get that magical time figured out of getting things done ahead of time, you know, I can have projects on the go, etc. You can keep them in there, keep them with other stuff. I like them. I like them. So, yeah, I think, was that everything I was going to show? Yeah, it was. It was. Okay, let me move back to my, my face cam. So that was it, you guys. Let me go back to, there we go. There we go. So, yeah. Anywho, that was my haul. Everything is linked below for those watching live right now. It'll be over here. It'll be on this side of the screen. Um, I linked. I linked to my my blog post. Um, 
that has a visual supply list. So you can click on over there and I'll still do, I'll take a photo and, and do social media and stuff afterwards. Like I said, I'm sorry. I'm kind of, this was not planned. <laughs> this wasn't planned. I have 5 million things on the go as always, but I still appreciate you guys like popping in with my, my very, yeah, unscheduled, unfiltered, you know, little, little haul video. And like I said in the beginning, but those that missed it, this was multiple orders spaced out. Some of this was from like a year ago um because it is what it is but yeah spaced out multiple orders but i just piled it all together and thought i would show it mostly because yeah these are, are my most recent <laughs> purchase these were <laughs> it's so much like uh, this is literally gonna last me even with the level you guys know how much i love my splatter this is gonna last me Forever, 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 considering the little, where that little bottle go that I showed. Yeah, this little one that I've been using for literal years, years, I have been using this one. So yeah, this little 14 mil white gouache that I have used in more videos than I can even count has lasted me years. So this, this beast is going to last me forever, forever. Oh my goodness. It's just funny. It's funny, but that's why I started doing haul videos in the first place was because it's like, yeah, you see something online, you order it, it shows up and you're like, what on earth that just, you know, in my head, I was expecting like this, this little baby and then it's like, <clears throat> so now, you know, now, you know, so anyway, it's always nice to see stuff you know, as real life as we can get it. That was the whole reason I started doing haul videos way back when, 15 years ago, however long it's been. I forget when I posted my first haul video on YouTube. Um, but yeah, that was like the whole reason was the photos you see online. I was talking about that in Sunday's live, you know, the photos you see online of something. And even with the description and for me, they'll even say like, it is dimensions of you know like nine by twelve blah 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 like the the ultra sticky mat you know so but when you actually get it and it's like oh not what you were picturing in your head you know that sort of a thing so yeah it's always nice to kind of get an idea of where everything where everything was so they do and then yeah again disclaimer no promises on, on, you know, timelines on when I'm going to use any of the things I showed. Because that was another thing that I would get unbelievable amounts of grief over. Because, um, yeah, it just, my life is literal chaos. <laughs> literal. And then a big thing, like, even some of the stuff I've showed, like I would said earlier, some of it is currently out of stock. They'll restock. It's hard sometimes to time things to get them up. But again, I do this as a job. So for me, um, going to the effort of making, editing, posting videos, etc., using product that isn't available just causes extra grief, you know? And then I... So, just disclaimers. Some of this might take me a really long time to get to. We'll see. We'll see. We'll just, we're just, we're just flying by the seat of our pants, you know? It's all, it's all chaos here, but you guys know that. So, yeah, I'm glad. I'm, I'm going to try and do more sort of little random lives, maybe some a little more scheduled, but like always, no promises other than our Sundays at 2 p.m. Central. Like that is the one schedule I have been able to stick to for the last, we're getting close to almost a year of doing those lives, which is crazy crazy and I still have um tech stuff to figure out behind the scenes because like I was saying in the beginning I was hoping I could go live to here and my Facebook page at the same time and that just I'm not yeah I can do that funny enough I can do that when I don't schedule anything like if I just sit down I can do it through my software it's like go live to both places it's like Burr. but if I try to plan anything ahead of time it's like no you can't I don't know I gotta figure it out so anywho that is it from me for now. I have, I'll have other like regular edited videos coming. Um, I got all sorts of plans. Today's Friday, so I'll be live on Sunday, 2 p.m. As, as always, I'll have that set up probably tomorrow. We'll see. I got, like I said, I got a million things on my plate. A million. A million and a half, really. So and now I got to clean up this mess I made. And yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I do. 
and just stay tuned. I got all kinds of things, all kinds of things up my sleeve. You never know. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.